Kong Hola, I'm glad to get the chance to talk on this uh, very important uh, bill here tonight. And first off, I'm totally and absolutely against what's uh, being proposed. Uh, I don't think it is necessary in the first place. Um, we don't have those kind of demonstrations. Uh, in, in th that I know about in my, in my side of the country, <coughs> in our county. And um, you see, in a lot of places, we have GPs uh, who are uh, practicing and p who people go to on, on a daily basis and people can get to their GP GPs. But uh, this, this, how, how will this be mapped for people uh, you know, they don't know where these GPs are. And it, like, I mean, uh, unsuspecting someone could be within this uh, exclusion zone. And, and, and I, the, unwittingly, and it's kind of going to, are we going to map this place or what? Um, this, 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 this is um, shocking and unneeded. And uh, this, uh, What's frightening uh, when I when I read these figures, in back in in, in 2018, there was 4,577 uh, abortions. In 21, there was 600 and uh, 6,577. In uh, or oh, that's in 2020, and 6,666. In 2019, so for last year, 22, we have 8,156, 8,156 little babies, and you see, they all had a heartbeat. And Minister, that's what's sad about that, the whole thing. These people, these little uh, babies, have a right to life, and all they wanted to do is to be let live. And I'm sorry that it's not. Uh, that there is more emphasis uh, and education given to young girls. First of all, uh, uh, the, the availability of contraceptives and, and to be careful. And education at school, at secondary schools, uh, is, 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 is very important and we should place our emphasis on that. Because if we were to think of the 8,156 little babies, look at, the, look at what they could contribute to our country in the, in, 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 the, in the years ahead. And that's what's sad about all of this, that we're not making a better effort and uh, to, to ensure that these little babies get the, 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 the chance to live. I, I'm lucky enough to have six grandchildren. I had one recently, a little girl. Uh, Oily Healy Ray is her name. I'm very proud of her, and I look forward to her growing up, and I look forward to, try to see her growing up. And, and uh, like the other grandchildren that I have. But they're very important. But you want to write your name into history. There's no, name for, there's no need for this. Look at what you're not doing for home help. Look at what you're not doing, by the way, of providing GPs, the waiting lists in our hospitals, our nursing homes, and, and then the CAMS uh, debacle that, that so many uh, vulnerable people suffered in South Kerry. And he's saying that it, 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 that, it, that it didn't manifest in any other uh, area. That's a lie, Minister. And he came in with some story here two or three weeks ago. There are people affected in other, other areas. And you need to put down your head at all because I'm telling you the truth. What he told was lies, blatant lies. 